heard on the news today that there's some people, I guess, around the country waking up to uh, what's going on with banks and Wall Street and all that. I guess 24 people got arrested in Boston protesting outside of Bank of America. So that's kind of encouraging in a way. I think eventually the truth does get out that uh, 90% of the problem behind these uh, economic downturns we've had, going all the way back to the Great Depression and probably before that, is our corrupt banking system. If I had my druthers, it would be totally done away with. There would not be any such thing as banks. Everything would be controlled by the people themselves like a credit union. It would be like a democracy. That's the problem. You, uh, We live under principles of democracy. And I know that's even opened up to uh, debate nowadays with, uh, with us losing a lot of our rights. But... Banks are one of those things that are probably about as far as you can go away from any kind of democracy. They basically dictate to people what's going to be going on. We bail them out to the tune of, uh, what was it, $48 billion we gave to Bank of America. And how do they thank us, the taxpayers? Oh, we're going to add a $5 a month fee to debit cards now on you. That's a nice thank you, isn't it? It's like, thanks, thanks for the money, guys. Now we're going to stick it to you again. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that's what a bank will do to you. Only time I had a bank account was when I was forced to when I was 19 years old and going to college. And you had to have a bank account that they opened for you to deposit your check in. And what I did was every time the check was deposited at the end of the week, I'd go down and take it right out. I'd leave zero balance. No thank you. Don't want my money with them. And, uh... It was just a job I had during the time I was going to college anyway, not even the full time I was going to college. So when that job was over, that account was closed. The protests are all well and good, but the main thing that's going to hurt the banks, and I mean going beyond hurting them, I want to hurt them all the way till they close them down, is take your money out. Don't deal with them. Don't give them your money. Don't take credit cards from them. There's nothing they're doing that's good for you. It's all for their own good. So if you think a bank has your best interests at heart, you're totally delusional. Whereas a credit union, you actually have a say-so. I can actually vote the people in, vote the people out. I can actually have a say-so as much as, you know, the other members too. I mean, every member's a, a member of the process that formed the credit union and runs the credit union. And they're not out to make any profit. There's no shareholders. They run a, any, any company that's a public company, their first interest always legally is to the shareholders. And they even debate they go beyond that, and their first interest is to themselves and their uh, golden parachutes and stuff. And secondly, to the stockholders. And then uh, the customer is way on down there to where it's almost no interest of all. We're just the suckers they steal the money from. So the best thing you can do is not be one of those suckers. And in other news, on October 14th, I get to go on a trip, thanks to my son-in-law. He needs a new place to store his motorcycle, so he's going to buy me a ticket from Chicago to L.A. I'll go out there, pick his motorcycle up, and uh, ride it back. Because there's no way, uh, at this point, he called me up kind of... Uh, half joking and said, hey, you want to do a long trip? And I'm like, I'm broke. I don't have the money for a long trip. He says, no, no, I'll pick it up. He says, I'll uh, buy you a plane ticket and you'll go out to L.A. And ride my bike back to Chicago. So, not a bad deal. I'll leave out on the 14th and I'll probably stay for a day on the 15th, get the bike ready, and then head out on the 16th. I'm going to take the southern route, so I'll be going through Phoenix, Albuquerque, uh, where else, Amarillo, Tulsa, and then work my way up to Kansas City. Hopefully meet and stay with some friends along the way too. So anyway, that's about what's going on with me. I'm home and it's supper time, so I'll talk to you guys later.